Safety is the most important factor for me when looking for a vehicle. It was in January. I was on my way to work. All of a sudden there was a whiteout. So I could just uh, see the outline of the roof of the vehicle in front of me. And then all of a sudden the roof line started to get closer and closer real fast. So I swerved out of the way and as I passed that vehicle, I saw that it was crunched up against another vehicle. And there were cars absolutely everywhere. They were against each other, against the guardrail and the ditch. So I swerved one way, swerved the other. I avoided two other cars and I was aiming to get in between a, a pickup truck and a big dump truck and I couldn't make it. It just wasn't, the hole was not big enough for my car to fit through. And when I hit the back end of this gravel truck, I came to an immediate stop and all the airbags had went off. And before I could really even think, a much louder crash and bang came from behind me as I was struck a second time by a gravel truck. As I looked around the car, the car was slowly crumpling in towards me. And to be honest, I, I thought that was it. That was the end. It was probably the most scary thing I've ever been through. And then everything stopped. It was dead silent. And I kind of just wiggled my toes to make sure that you know, everything was still working. It was. I unbuckled my seatbelt. The windshield had been ejected from the second impact. I climbed through the front windshield and just started running down the highway. Lucky to be alive. I believe wholeheartedly that the design and the safety specs that went into that vehicle specifically are what led to, to me being here to be able to tell my story. As soon as I started to slam my brakes, the ABS kicked in immediately. That's what allowed me to actually maneuver around the vehicles. So if it wasn't for that, I probably would have hit the very first car and in turn the impact that came later on would have been much more severe. Certainly the trumple zones that are, are in the vehicle would have directed any of the energy uh, that was coming in towards me and rerouted it throughout the car and dispersed it away from, from the main cabin where I was. So I just wanted to get into contact with someone just to say thanks because I was so overwhelmed over the whole ordeal. I wanted to send an email or make a phone call, just say thank you. That's, that's all I was really looking for, just so that someone knew that by doing their job, they not only saved my life, but certainly affected the lives of people like my family and friends.